Hey guys, how's everybody doing? It's been eight weeks since my last video and I've been super busy. I've got the Doom Buggies ready and up and going. I'm gonna do a video on that. I have an 88 Carrera that we're doing a rebuild on. I wanna show you that right now. And the 993, I did a couple of open box videos on suspension and mufflers. Well, that car is done, and I'm going to do a video on that. I think I'm going to shoot that tomorrow morning. I really want to show you this 993. I'll give you a little sneak look at it right now. Uh, the Bilsteins went on it really nice, and they are at the height that they had sent them at. So uh, to me, maybe the front's a little too low. Might raise that up a little bit. Um, let me let you take a look at it. Okay, so there it is. 96 Targa, beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, we had the interior done, the seats all done on it. You can see all the seats were done. I'll go over this car uh, tomorrow in a video. I had it detailed by a local company here and they did a beautiful job ceramic coating it and everything. But what I wanted to show you is a 88 32 Carrera with a G50. And I'll, um, I'll explain this to you now. Well, this, this car is just a beautiful car, 98,000 mile car. Problem, the uh, motor was smoking. And as, as a lot of the guys know, the valve guides wear on them. And when the valve guides wear, they, uh, they let oil through and they smoke. And that's kind of a, it's kind of a common thing for a 3.2. Here's the heads. You can see that the actual dome in there is pretty clean on on uh, most of them actually. All the ceiling surfaces as you can see are was actually really nice. There was no leaking at the top of a cylinder. Uh, number two was probably the worst one that was really smoking and it had a lot of buildup on the exhaust port. Um, you can see they were pretty, pretty dirty. There was a few surprises. I just want to go over all this stuff here with you. Uh, and the uh, cam towers look really, really good. And this motor is super clean inside, which is always a good thing, right? So here's your rods. The rods, and you can see how clean it looks inside. There's your squirter right there, right? So all the rotation, the rods and all that are really nice. We're not going to split this. This is only going to be a top end uh, motor, what we're going to do on it. And these three twos are, are, are pretty tough. But let me, let me show you something that we're going to have to change out. There was one broken head stud, but you can see these are pretty rusty. So we're going to have to put a new set on here because that's... You, you know, those those are going to break. They're definitely going to break. So we're going to change all those out. Um, hopefully we don't have any issues removing them. Um, the one on the other side, one, one like I said, one did break. Let me uh, show you also the exhaust system. It had an aftermarket muffler on it. I don't know what muffler it is. It It's kind of a, somebody, I don't know if somebody made it, but it's got some pretty beat up welds on this side of it. Um, that was in there. And the exhaust, as, as you know, these guys from being under the car, they get, they'll get a lot of weather, they get rusted. And these guys are all gonna have to be cut off. All these bolts are gonna have to be cut off to uh, separate it all up. So we're gonna do all that. We're even, uh, I'm even thinking about replacing them. Um, there's the original cat. 98,000 miles. Uh, big problem. I broke, there's no way to round it, but we broke eight heads, head uh, exhaust bolts. That one was removed. Uh, you can see here, there's, that's a broken one right there. You see, short, it's short. So eight of them broke. Uh, this is common on a car that you know, got into some weather, right? Here's the G50 transmission. There's your clutch. Uh, another issue this car was having, the ring gear 
the ring gear was worn. This thing's not focusing there. Okay. It was, uh, the ring gear is pretty worn out, so it was making a lot of noise when you would start it. And the pinion on the starter is actually pretty battered up too. So what I'm going to do is I'm sending this whole box to CAD plated in gold so it'll come back like new. I completely disassemble everything off the intake manifolds because I, I wanted to, I'm going to restore the motor to look like new again. The fan is going to go out. That's going to get done. This is all going to the powder coater. Uh, Alec over uh, at Static will do that here in Havasu. And like I said, the muffler, we're going to ditch that one. Um, the guy uh, that owns this car has purchased a beautiful stock, original factory stainless steel muffler. And that, he dropped that off and said, that's the one I'm going to run. And I was like, good deal. That's, that's awesome. That's the way I would do it. So that's a good thing. Um, surprises on this motor, silicone in the wrong places. But nothing... I don't see any fragments anywhere in here. Um, the oil was clean. Actually, the oil was really, really nice. So you can, that's, that's why the inside of the motor is, is very nice. But look at this. They replaced these tubes, and you can see the beautiful silicone. I'll tell you, that silicone is just wonderful, is it? No, don't use it. Do not use it. These are collapsible return tubes. We will be putting new ones in there. Um, and if you can believe it, they put silicone on the valve cover gaskets on the lowers, and you can see how it smushed out and all that. So that's kind of scary stuff. The cam towers are gonna go to Ollie's, and they're gonna completely disassemble them. They pull the tube out. I've, I, I've seen how they do this. They pull that tube out of there that squirts on there, because that's where the silicone will get in, in, in the tubes there, and that's where the problem is. From, uh, let me show you that real quick here. Okay. So, this and the squirter right there, there's a pinhole. See that pinhole? That pinhole gets plugged with the silicone. That is the problem. Then, if that gets plugged, now you got the cam, the rockers without, without oil getting hot, and that's when they start getting me eaten up. And I've seen this on the 3.6 that we just turned into a 3.8. So that's that's why all that silicone in there on, on the return tubes scares me. So anyhow, so this is the 3.2. Now we're gonna do a top end on it and 98,000 miles, that's about right. The other thing we're gonna do is we're changing the rod bolts because this is another common problem with the 3.2, those rod bolts right there. We're going to change those out to some ARP hardware. And then uh, at that time, we'll look at the bearings, and see what they look like. So that's the weak link on a 3.2 also. So valve guides wear, and those, those will stretch and uh, give you problems later on. So they say not to run a 3.2 at high RPMs for long periods of time. Every book will tell you that. So we're going to avoid that by putting some race hardware in there. Okay, here's our camshafts. Camshafts look really good. No issues, um, nothing, nothing cut in, no peeling, no pitting, very cool. Uh, cam, the rockers, all the rockers, really nice because it was getting the proper oil. All the first, all the faces are good. All the faces are nice. Everything's cool. So just you know, just a top end, piston cylinders, no broken rings, um, nothing to write home about. Everything's good. They're nice and loose, nothing compacted in there. Cylinders, we're gonna size these up and see where we're at, um, if they're reusable. Uh, I've re-ringed the Nicosil cylinders. I guess some books tell you not to, but I haven't had any problems um, doing that. Um, these 98,000 miles, they're, they're, probably gonna, they're probably gonna size out okay. Uh, the tubes I was telling you about, um, these guys here, we're going to put new new uh, hole push rod tubes, one piece, put those back in there. And that's kind of what's going to happen here. My, the heads are going to go out. Those those will get done. All these pieces here, the cam towers, all these will do those. Um, go to order a new clutch for it, a new starter, a new ring gear, 
And remember, this is this is not the ring gear. That's the uh, that's for the sensor uh, for the ECU. So that's the ring gear. That's the one we're going to replace. And that one's pretty bad. It's got a lot of bad areas on. Anyways, um, so that's the three two. And this is going to be a beautiful car when it's when it's all set up and done. And um, I believe we're going to be doing suspension on it. And um, but for now. I'm gonna do the motor suspension after, and uh, this uh, motor will come out nice. But it's very common for them to smoke bad guides. The valve guides go out, leaks oil, and they smoke. Um, then, like I said, so we're only gonna do a top end on this, which is fine for this motor. And then we gotta change the uh, put add ARP rod bolts and change out these head studs because this head studs. The way they're rusty, they will fail. They will break next time. So anyways, that's the 3-2. Now, I got something to show you that's kind of funny. Um, not funny, but uh, you'll be amazed because I was when I found it. I just tore down a 3-liter for Larry. And let me uh, show you what we found. Oop, I got a piece of lint here. Okay, right. Uh, there it is. Okay, so the, this is a 3-liter, 79. One broken head stud, which I was able to remove by heating it up, pulled it right off. No big deal, but look at this. Okay, we, you know, we always talk about silicone. Here, they're using it, uh, and they shouldn't. Check this out. Okay, look at that. Somebody actually put so much, I don't even think it's silicone. It's probably tub and bath sealant or something like that. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and, and, and honestly, it really doesn't, I mean, it, is it working? I, I don't know, I don't, it wasn't really too oily under there, but it's pretty impressive how much they put on there. I've never seen anything like it. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. This is a, a three liter, we're probably just doing a top end on this one also. Same thing, change the bearings. Um, this one here, I'm not changing the rod bolts. The rod bolts on these were, were not prone to issues. So um, this one came apart very well. Heads all sealed also. Um, no, no, really, no real issues uh, on this motor turning it down other than it being a little worn out. Um, it was smoking also. So rebuilt. Here's the cylinders for the three liter. These are also make a seal and all the rings were moving in here. A lot of times these will all be all stuck in there. Um, and broken and we didn't have any of that on here again these actually have um you know pretty decent hash marks it's kind of hard to see but the hash marks in there are actually pretty decent so i uh, will size these up too and see what comes up out of that um and see if we're going to reuse those or not and there's the broken head stud on, on that three on the 3.0 okay so that one came apart um this one this is our the three eight we've been building this is all done i got the exhaust from fab speed over from andrew that's the muffler and then a european pre pre um uh, pre pipe like a cat where the cat would go and it it does have a bung there for the for this for the um sensor there right that's got it's plugged now but we're going to install that it's it's just their stuff is just beautiful very very nice and that has a uh single outlet um uh, we didn't want to run a dual outlet so it's a single and it's got capped on one side so you can actually go put it into a, a single or a double outlet that that's how this one is designed and then you can see their their name all stamped in there actually so that's this one here. And then we added their air cleaner. And so this air cleaner sits in there and it's got this frame with thumb screws here that put it all together really nicely. And that's gonna breathe really nice. And then I am also, I also have a chip for an ECU that we're gonna be using in this build. The transmission is all done by California Motorsports. So it's a whole package. Right now they're doing the front differential. Um, once the front differential is on, all done, then we're gonna deliver the 3.8.
And that's that's what I've got going on. We've got the two four there. That one will get torn down here soon, also. So we've been we've been really um, we've been really busy in the garage. I've got a lot here. Uh, gosh, look at all the cylinder heads. All the cylinder heads are in already. Those are all all lined up, ready to go. Uh, this is a nine twelve motor we're doing for for uh, James. That's James' motor right there. And then I've got Sean's motor in the corner there. We're gonna be doing that one soon. And we just picked up all the rest of the parts for that motor. So that's pretty complete now to start building. And then this is this uh, 912 motor here. This belongs to Gary Levers for the white 912 that we've been doing videos on. So that I have everything for. Um, that's that's gonna be a, a next build also. So, and that's all of Gary's car. Everything for the 912 is in that box. The motor, suspension, all the hardware, uh, already done and ready to go. So, anyhow, so that's kind of the update I'm doing um, tonight. The Doom buggy is done. I ended up that took a little longer because I ended up doing a, a 2.8. So I waited for a, a set of 92 millimeter pistons and cylinders for that one. So now that's built. It's in the buggy. Um, I'm going to do a video on that soon, like probably this coming by the end of the week. Uh, the 993, I want to show you and talk about the ceramic coating that Detail Specialties did on that. Um, amazing job. The, the, the car is just beautiful, beautifully done. And the Doom Buggy, I want to do some running videos on that and kind of go over that motor. And um, that, that's kind of what I got going on right now. And then uh, summer's here, so... We are do some more uh, videos out in the water. Um, we do, I, I love building these cars and, you know, but it's nice to be out in the lake too sometimes. So anyhow, um, so we're at uh, 700 subscribers and it's been a short amount of time. It's been really fun. And um, I just want to thank everybody for, you know, following us and looking at what we got going. And let me know if you'd like to see something um, on these cars or you got any ideas or just say hi. <laughs> so anyways, all right, you guys, I will um, make some more videos and get them out to you. Hopefully this week, eight weeks is a long time. But as you can see, we've been I've been doing a lot of driving, getting all this stuff together. And uh, now it's time to sit here. I got my AC on in a garage. It's uh, pretty warm outside, but it's nice and cool inside. So anyways, all right, subscribe, hit your likes. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Hey guys, hey, uh, it's been eight weeks since I did my last video and I've been really super busy. Uh, got the uh, 88 red Porsche. Uh, I've got a 3.2 in there and I'm going to uh, go over the motor that's got a lot of are mileage. You, oh, are you on the phone? <laughs> no, 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 I'm videotaping. I told you I was going to shoot a video. Hey, He's smarty pants. Sorry. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're going to do another one. <laughs>